say it again. Sycamore dogwood. Like a sycamore dogwood. So here's the deal. This is Kusa dogwood. When you get a dogwood, now how do you know it's a dogwood? So is that it's opposite and it's got dogwood venation, right? Arcuate venation, you remember that? So the arching vein, so opposite. So you go, it's a dogwood. If it's big enough and it's got sycamore bark on it, it's Kusa dogwood. This is not native, not native. So that's a really good place to start on it. At the petiole, at the end of it, where it attaches to the twig, it kind of splits, and there's a golden brown, roll it over, yeah, there you go. There's a golden brown fuzz in that little split. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. The flowering dogwood, they, they, they don't have that. So that golden brown fuzz down in that little crack. That's a good sign of a Kusa dogwood as well. These have, uh, they're not native, and they've come on in like the last 20 years pretty heavily. Now, well, 20, 30 years ago they started. And the reason being, flowering dogwood develops this disease called dogwood anthracnose, especially in shady conditions like in forests. And this is very immune to it. So nurseries started just carrying this one and when people wanted a dogwood because it has very nice spectacular white blooms as well and they sell you this and if you ask for a flowering dogwood they say oh it'll die which isn't actually correct if you plant a flowering dogwood in nice bright sunshine they do quite well uh, but in the shade they don't where the fungus the humidity is too high you may have seen this dogwood with the red looks like Captain Crunch crunch berries mm -hmm. look like little red crunch big crunch nice. berries on, on a dogwood uh, we'll see it on another one those are really peculiar at this time of year they're really obvious and that's edible uh, at least the pulp is like you can take those little fruits and just split them and suck the juice it's very uh, tropical tasting Kind of like a mango, citrus, <coughs> banana combo. Like yeah. Wow. The skin has got the texture of sandpaper. So you, you just want to kind of suck on them and throw them, throw them down. Uh, flowering dogwood and kusa dogwood, you'll have blooms for about a month. Because flowering dogwood comes out first, and this comes out right at the end of flowering. And another, yeah, about another two weeks. So you'll have a full month of, oh look, some of the flowers are popping. That's Lamas flushes. Oh, no. For those of you in the lecture class that I do, those shouldn't be coming out. And they're right. interesting looking flowers. Look up there. Look there. Yeah, they're, well, they're not out. Picture, fill them up, and they look pretty much the same as a flowering dog.